what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i have some unfortunate but exciting news at the same time screen 5's release date has been delayed we all know it was supposed to come out in 2021 at some time from paramount pictures now they're saying it's going to come out according to an official tweet from the official twitter account it'll come out on january 14th of 2022 so screen 5 has been delayed uh, but they shared a very exciting teaser to kind of just make us not as disappointed now we have an official release date for it but before all we knew is it was coming sometime in 2021 now we know that's no longer the case it's been delayed by at least a year now it's coming out sometime in 2022 not even sometime it's coming out january 14th of 2022 they shared a little teaser and kevin williamson kevin williamson retweeted this all of all the parties involved with this have retweeted it. it's just a little small nice clip that reveals Ghostface, the ghost face mask emerging from a, out of darkness and then we have a small little date in the right far bottom right corner dating january 14th of 2022 now am i disappointed about that not really and do i think this means the movie will be trash uh that's still possible it's possible this could be trash no matter when it comes out usually january is where the trash goes but in all honesty with everything going on in our society they're probably this is not something i would be too concerned with given the fact that the original scream came out around christmas time the original scream came out at, came out at a very odd point because I, I don't really remember why it came out in december and i know i've made a mistake of saying why it came out in december so i'm not going to do that again i don't really know why the original screen came out in december but all of them have these weird release dates so it coming out in january isn't necessarily anything to be worried about but yes typically that's known for where the trash goes january but getting on into things we also found out apparently that we have a a official title that hasn't yet to be like publicly announced or confirmed but paramount pictures who we know is going to be distributing the project they honestly put out a tweet regarding upcoming projects on that list was of course details regarding screen five however it was not called screen five it was detailing movies they have coming up like paranormal activity seven which i still don't know why that's happening uh, i'm gonna go see it don't know why it's happening <laughs> but again they had screen on the list as well for 2022 and that's all it was called it was just called scream so i don't think they're going to be calling it scream 5 it looks like our official title will be scream again nothing publicly has been has been said by any any other party just the paramount pictures who is going to be distributing it they sent out a tweet saying that they have a movie coming out in 2022 called scream simply called scream why are they doing that many people such as 3c films already made mention of this it appears that when you attach a number to entries in your franchise unless you're fast and furious when you attach numbers to your entries now that does seem to be turning off a lot of moviegoers so if the casual moviegoer just goes into a theater and they see i made mention of this on a previous video they see a movie coming out and it says oh scream's out and then they're gonna say oh they remade scream and then they go and they sit down and they got a big surprise it's not a remake buddy it's a sequel or a reboot soft reboot <laughs> but if they titled it scream 5 that same person might go into the theater and say oh they're still making these movies and then they won't even bother seeing it but they might be fooled into going to into thinking they're going to see a remake because who knows people just don't there's a lot of people out there who do that they don't research anything they just go to the theater and they watch whatever's in theaters but something i want to talk about was just briefly of uh, the movie coming out in 2022 and it coming out in january the fact that it's coming out in january does make me a little bit more confident in what i was saying previously that they probably had intentions to put it out in december of 2021 but because of this shuffling around with all these different movies being released and i don't think there's anything really coming out in december of 2021 so still not really understanding what was the ultimate reason we got january but it makes me a little bit more confident that that's probably what they were trying to do but they settled on january for some reason so we're going to get screen five uh january 14th of 2022 and we found out also that the movie itself is still going to be still going to be shooting this fall in wilmington north carolina filming at a few different locations according to all these production sites filming in raleigh wilmington and a I think one other city I can't think of at the moment, but we know that production is still slated to begin later this year. In the few coming weeks, we know that we have Melissa Barrera on board. We have Jenna Ortega on board. We have David Arquette on board. We have Courtney Cox on board. 
A lot of you are still waiting to hear if Nev Campbell will be on board, of course, to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott, who is considered the heart and soul of the franchise by not only ourselves, the fans, but by David Arquette. Those are his words, not mine. Uh, and another thing is we're also waiting for Hayden Pantier to just miraculously show up and be in this movie somehow as Kirby. A lot of people are just becoming convinced she's dead. I still don't think, I don't think she's dead, but I did want to touch on one other thing. Now, Bloody Disgusting, they did put out a very interesting article. They made a mention of the fact that this new Scream movie is going to keep Wes Craven's films canon. Now, a lot of people are running with that as that being the official thing. I don't know where they actually got that from. Again, I have not seen any other outlets say that besides Bloody Disgusting. Where they got that from, I wish they would share because it's kind of just like a, it's it's in the middle of what they're announcing. It's somewhere in the middle of the article. They just make it a, make mention of the fact that these this new screen movie will keep the other ones canon. Now, yes, that may be true. Yes, it may not be true. I do not know because Bloody Disgusting, again, did not make it clear where exactly they got that information from. They could have gotten it from Paramount. They could have gotten it from, of course, Radio Silent, Spyglass Media. You guys can look up that article to see what I'm talking about. I don't see anything in that article that's actually indicating where they got that, got that from. So keep in mind, it's always a chance that we could get one of these movies ignored. I don't think we will. I think all the movies will remain canon, but it's just the fact that they announced it as if it were coming from some type of official source, but never really stated where they got that information from. But all the Wes Craven movies remain in canon. Of course, that's what everyone wants. That's what we all want to see. We don't want anything to be ignored. We don't want to see anything tampered with. We want this to be remaining true to the original. We want it to, to keep Wes Craven's legacy intact somehow. And we just want to see, honestly, these filmmakers who because i know a lot of you guys are fans of ready or not if you're watching these videos and you're excited about screen five and you hear about radio silence and all of these other things and you know that they did ready or not then that must mean you're a big fan of that movie that came out last year a lot of people are because that movie was surprisingly a lot better than what the trailer actually showed based off of the trailer i thought ready or not was just going to be you know like okay i'll go see this but then when i actually went to see it oh my gosh that was just I can't wait to see what these guys do with Scream 5. I honestly just hope they tone down on the comedy a bit, but I'm looking forward to it. And again, we now know the movie will be coming out January 14th of 2022. And that brief glimpse of Ghostface in the teaser that we got, it does look like very reminiscent of the mask from the original movie. Not the mask that we get during the Casey Becker opening kill, like when he's chasing her briefly, because the mask is like changing multiple times in the original movie, I'm not mistaken. But it looks like the main mask that you see for the most of the time in the first movie. It looks like very reminiscent of that mask. So I can't wait to see what happens. I hope Neff Campbell returns. I'm very excited about all of these things that keep coming out about the project. A lot of people still think Selena Gomez is going to be involved. She hasn't yet signed on. There hasn't been. Well, she might have signed on. We just haven't gotten an official announcement. But I can't wait. I know you guys can't wait. Uh, the whole idea behind it releasing in January 14th of 2022 there's a lot of things that are already coming out in 2021. So honestly, this isn't really that big, much of a shocker. If they want this movie to do well, this might be the best case scenario for now. Uh, if they want it to do well, because 2021 is already crowded. You have Halloween Kills coming out in October. I mean, imagine that. You don't want to take the risk and the gamble. Sure, that would be a nice thing to see Ghostface and Michael Myers at the box office battling over the weekend. But Scream 4 already didn't perform that well as they expected and as they hoped. So you don't want to take that gamble again and you're probably going to want to release it just at, on a random date when there's probably nothing else coming out. If there is other things coming out, then so be it. But probably best to just release this movie based off of the reception from Screen 4. Release this movie on its own individual weekend uh, where it doesn't have much competition or if it has competition, things that are much smaller in scale uh not because releasing halloween and then scream in the same weekend that would be a, a massive fight at the box office but i just don't i wouldn't want to pick between those two in my opinion if i had to pick i would go see scream five but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you excited about scream five are you excited about the movie coming out in 2022 what do you think about the january release um 
And I know a lot of you say you live in Wilmington. Yes, definitely tell me what's going on if you take pictures out in that area when they start filming. <laughs> um, but again, if you haven't already, of course, again, comment down below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.